Welcome back guys and I'm so happy because today is a very, 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 very special episode. Um, I'm here with a wonderful woman. Hi, Aunt Jillian. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yes, guys. So this is a new segment. And we, as you can see, we have some beautiful muffins, some cakes, and there's some tea here. Because Aunt Jillian is someone that inspires me and always given me so much tea and in you know encouragement and has so much words of wisdom. So I thought let's share it, you know, in a different platform, not just us talking, you know. I feel like um there's a lot of things we can share, especially as we're different ages and we go through weirdly the same things. Yeah. But just um it's so crazy because like even though we have different lives, so I thought it'd be interesting to come in here and share them. Mm -hmm. Right? But we have some, what muffins have we got so here? We've got blueberry muffins, mm -hmm. we've got strawberry and white chocolate muffins, mm -hmm. and then we've got lemon drizzle danish. Yes. And then just a few raw cashew nuts. Mm, yes, guys. I really do like nuts. Mm, these, nuts sort of them, yeah. these nuts are cute. And oh, yeah, these blueberries. So I'm going to have some blueberries. You have some tea as well. Jasmine tea with honey. Oh, with honey as well. Yeah, well, I was going to ask you if you wanted honey in it, but I wasn't quite too sure. But I thought the honey gives it that nice little. Guys, oh, okay. And let's put it, let's keep, okay. Let's get our little cups. I feel like saying cheers, but can you do we cheers? Do, we cheers to anything. Cheers. Cheers. Good health for long life. Long life. And wealth. Wealth. Um, prosperity. Yeah. Prosperity. <laughs> prosperity. Abundance. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. At my age, that's what you pray for. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, sorry, moving on. Moving on. Oh, this is really lovely. It is nice, isn't it? This is really, guys. Sorry, this, I think it's the first time I'm having jasmine and honey. Normally, really? I really with my herbal teas, they only have um honey in them. Okay. Which this is actually surprising. But anyway, that's not what the episode's about. Okay. <laughs> Glad you like. Glad I like, you like it. Thank Glad you. Like. But today' um, episode is about what they don't tell you about being a woman. Mm -hmm. So, me and Aunt have been going back and forth for a couple of weeks, you know, talking about things that we've gone through and then you know, certain things that I didn't realise that women do and mm. that we don't really talk about. Mm. So I thought, when, when I think about this episode, I was thinking, okay, what can we talk about? Like, what is it something that we talk about often, mm. but then we don't, we, we think about it, but we don't say it. Mm. Right, like some, like sometimes it's like a taboo subject mm. that we think in our head, and we're not thinking that other people, specifically women, have the same thoughts yeah. or have the same ideas, or sometimes we have the same experiences with other people, but because we don't share that as women, we don't realize. Oh my gosh, Steve done that to me too. Well, not necessarily Steve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. You can take his name. Not, not you, Steve. <laughs> not you, Steve. But just. In general, Joe yeah. Bloggs did that. When yeah. we share the conversations, we realise, oh my gosh, there's a Joe Bloggs in my life too who mm -hmm. said X, Y, or Z. Mm. And it's when we talk, we get to realise I'm not alone. Exactly. And I think there's not only we have the trauma, but you have the trauma of actually dealing with it by yourself, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is even another thing on its on its head, you know, not so when you say that it actually makes so much sense, especially in the black community as well. Mm. Because a lot of th a lot of more things are taboo, you mm. know. I'm trying to say, especially in like dating life and like how you sh you're perceived, you know, who you're dating, cultural Even differences. Even the word dating, what does that actually mean? Different <gasps> ages, dating means something completely yeah. okay. different. Okay, okay, let's well, let's let's start with that mm -hmm. then. Let's start with that. So you know how before it was court courtmanship? Is it courtmanship? Yeah, courtship. Courtship. Now it's dating. Now it's seeing. Because now it's just a thing like you, you might be seeing the person, we're not dating the person. So we have different <sighs> stages now. So, okay. So with me, I can be seeing a guy but not dating him. So when you're seeing somebody, yeah. right, to me, if you're seeing someone, yeah. you're sexually active with that person. Really? Whereas if I'm dating someone, yeah. it means I'm seeing him yeah. on a few days which are called dates, so we're going out, cinema, yeah. that's a date, we're going to the restaurant, we're going to his house, we're chilling, etc. But we're not actually sexually active. Oh! Because that... I'm dating him. I'm seeing him on a 
series of dates or days which are dates okay but we're not serious in that sense and obviously i'm born in the 70s yeah so growing up in the 80s and the 90s, dating was, oh, we're going out on a date, we're going, and we're doing this, and we're doing that. Sex wasn't involved. So you... For me. For, okay, so seeing for you is... Seeing is, oh, if I'm seeing, if I'm seeing Bob, down yeah, both, yeah. not you, Bob. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it means then I'm actually in a sexual, intimate relationship with this person. Okay. But what type of relationship, who knows? I'm just seeing, we're just seeing each other. Mm. So it doesn't mean that we're boyfriend and girlfriend, we're not friends with benefits, it's not we're engaged to be married, but we're definitely having sex with each other because we are seeing each other so like that. when you're with, with you and guys seeing... Otherwise it's called a friendship. Okay, but is seeing, is that like, do you see your future with that person that you're seeing or is that just like casual? It, it means whatever it, you want it to mean because each couple is going to be different. But for me personally... Yeah. If I'm seeing a man right now, it means then that I am seeing him in in my life now, in the future, beyond the future, okay. maybe in the afterlife. Yeah. It's, it means then that it's because this is the stage of life that I'm at now. Okay. You know what's so crazy? I have the opposite. So if I might say I'm seeing you. So I'm like, okay, I've seen him like a few times. But when I'm dating you, that's mm. when I'm like, we're going on dates. I actually... Um, I'm getting serious and okay. then it becomes a relationship for me because I don't know why I feel like seeing it's just like you know oh because I feel like when you're dating when someone like, takes you up on dates and actually you do a lot of stuff with them I think that's the person I want to be serious with but then what do you do when you're seeing what are you seeing when you see, see, it, when, see. You, when you're seeing this person what are you seeing what are you doing in the seeing <laughs> yeah no seeing is just like I think seeing is like a casual thing for me like it's a casual like oh yeah I saw him but it's almost to be like are, are you dating? Are you experiencing things while you're seeing no, him? No, no. The dating is when I'm experiencing stuff with him. Okay, so the seeing it really could be like you're just literally seeing somebody. <laughs> exactly. But but then you, what are you doing? <laughs> are you? Because where's the experience? Where's the moment shared? Where's That's, the that time would be in dating. spent? That'd be in the dating. That's what I said. So then the seeing is what virtual seeing or no. reality seeing? Okay. Are you seeing one on your phone. No, because okay, it's, I think it's like, for me, it's a process of like, before, like, when when he becomes your husband or your boyfriend. So means that you're talking to someone then? You're talking, okay, yeah. Yes. So see, to me, it's talking. Okay, okay. 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 Now we're coming to a language that we can both understand. Okay, that's probably what it is, actually. Because it's, if, if, if your generation yeah. sees talking was what we would say as, as dating, as seeing, yeah. then that shows you already that, I speak a different language from what you speak. And yeah. the two things have completely different meanings. My thing is this, what if you're de what if you're the age that you are and you're you're dating a you're seeing an older man yeah. and he thinks, Oh, we're seeing each other, at yeah. some point he's gonna expect to have sex because he's seeing you. Whereas your version of seeing is I'm just talking to him, yeah, lining him up more or less like interviewing him for my potential future. Because yeah. it is like an interview, isn't it, really? No, 100%. I think also in terms of dating, I think now a lot of people are okay with being casual. Mm. A lot of people are okay with just, you know, it not going, you know what I mean? Not going any further. Whereas before, like, people wouldn't want to go on dates unless they really like the person. I know a lot of women, mm. that's not bad, but they'll go on a date even if they don't really like the guy, but they'll just like, okay, might as well just like, you know. Women still do that at my age. Too. Do they? Yeah, it's called users. <laughs> they call users. Let's just keep it 100% real. There's there are many women who do that and you know no tea no shade no pink lemonade if that's what they want to I do there's some tea here so i'm here for the tea but um, <laughs> yeah there are women that, yeah. that who will happily go out just because they want a meal they want to go and have like a nice evening out and that's fine yeah <clears throat> that's fine we're not judging anybody yeah but i think if you as a person have decided what you want for your future you have to realize that that future comes now like that that future actually starts today so who you're seeing today you have to say to yourself is this somebody that i actually want to see tomorrow and mm. the next day and the next day and the next day even though you don't might not have the answer yeah you have to program your mind to find out is that person going in the same direction as me and if you don't get that conversation in from the beginning then oh, okay. you set yourself up for that, that's a good question because what i would say a lot now is that 
I would say in my generation, or what I've been realizing is that we don't have the conversation, okay, what is this? Like with me, I'm very much upfront, okay, you like me, I like you. Mm. Where are you in your stage of your life? Do you want do you want to get married? Do you want to have kids? If you don't, let's not date. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Do you say that day one? Not day one, but I'm, I'm I, okay, I wouldn't say like directly at the person or mm -hmm. the guy, but I'm just scoping out, okay, mm, he, he says like, oh, maybe he does like kids, you know, or... Like, has he been in a long-term relationship? I ask these questions, mm. not like very direct, like, oh, do you want to get married or da 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 da, but very much like, oh yeah. So what? What are you planning to do? Like, do you want to stay in London? Like, do you like London? Are you more mm -hmm. like a country guy? So you kind of feeling out like, where is this guy's head? A hundred percent. Where does he want to be? And where does he want to move to? And I think for you, yeah, because you know that you want a serious, committed relationship. Yeah. Those are the kind of questions that you have to ask from day one. It's it's, it's okay. Yeah. It, there's nothing wrong with saying, mm -hmm. you know what, this is I know what I, I know where I want to be and I want to be married. I'm the wife type. This is this is what I want. This is this is the dream that I have for myself. Mm -hmm. And the guy who turns around and looks at you like he, you've just spoken some strange alien language, <laughs> yeah. he's the guy that you need to avoid. Yeah. But you know what it is as well, okay. What would you say? How do I, how would I put this? But like, you know when you like you like a guy, and you see potential, mm. and you know he he's let's say let's say it's not a hundred percent a no, but he's not giving you yes. Does that make sense? Uh, so let me just get that right. You see the potential. I see the potential in the game. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because. How we see things often is a reflection of what's going on within ourselves. Okay. That's the first thing I really needed to share. Okay. So, you can see the potential, mm -hmm. but you're not hearing a yes from him. Yet. Yes. Yet. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, so then you need to ask yourself, what is he actually saying to me mm -hmm. then? Because if you can see potential, but you're not hearing a yes from him then you're getting a no, a maybe, or I don't know, and I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. It may be that he may need more time to be sure, that he may not be sure of himself. He might not know these answers or have even considered these things. Mm. Then it comes back to you, for you to decide, do I want a man who's unsure? Do I want a man who doesn't know what he's doing? Mm. Do I want an, a man who doesn't know his direction? I mean, and that's okay for some for some. Anyway, we are back, so we had a little little break, but we're back. Thank you. It's so crazy because when we turn off the camera, we don't stop talking, and it's like when the real tea comes when out. When the real tea comes out, but oh we God. are trying to keep it as real as possible over here. That's why we have our tea and our cakes. Um, hashtag tea and cakes. But um, so what we we're talking about, we're talking about dating, and what I was actually. What we brought up, what I thought was actually quite cool, is that there's a term called sneaky links. I've never heard of sneaky links. So sneaky yeah. the, Okay, so it yeah. Sounds like a TV show. So auntie, so there's a thing called sneaky links. So sneaky links is when you might do some. You and the, the, your the person that you're you're seeing. Sneaking with. Sneaking with. Go on. Okay. Are uh, intimate. But yeah, we're, you're intimate. Okay. Right. So you're intimate with that person, and you know that's all it is. Okay, so we call it sneaky link. Friends with benefits? Yes, friends with benefits, right? Yeah, this is the advice of friends with benefits. Um, I was actually on TikTok and I saw the other day that um, a lot of times some people have sneaky links for up to two years, one year. Oh, wow. And, you know, they might end up being in a relationship with that person. All from um, be, being, you know, intimate with that person. And you know, they, don't, they don't date that person, but they do sneaky link with that person. And I was, I was thinking, when it comes to, we'll say, friends benefits, sneaky links, um, in this day and age, would you say that's a, you can date while having a sneaky link, like, in terms of emotion-wise, or do you think it's a very dangerous route to go down? Um, you mean date the person that you're having a sneaky no. link with? No, so, so, if you, like, have a, you have got a friend of benefits, because this sneaky links, ugh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sneaky link, yeah, that's a new term. Sneaky link, but what we would call friends with benefits, exactly. So, if you've got a friend with a benefit mm -hmm. and you are sneaking while you're linking, yeah. you can then see other people at the same time, yeah. I think if two adults are mutually agreeing mm -hmm. to see other people, yeah, 
they're, they're okay with being polygamous. They're okay with having more than one partner. Yeah. And that's okay because then it means that they're also having sneaky links with other people. Yeah. It's different if you have a relationship. Like yeah. you, you have a whole relationship somewhere else, but then you have your sneaky link. I actually know somebody that actually, actually without mentioning any names, yeah. but he had a whole relationship for a long period of time with somebody but then had a friend with a benefit and that friend with a benefit was a benefit for many 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 years they never moved into a relationship really in the end he ended up getting married and yeah. their wife then said because she knew about the sneaky links wait wait so I'm, please I'm, don't mention the name because no. we know who this person okay, is okay yeah, yeah. yeah the wife then said <laughs> yeah. it's a fine line <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah. Tea! There's no wine! Wait, oh! Wait, there's no wine because it's the middle of the day, so tea. Yes. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. We can, we can have the wine in the after bit. Yes, yes. Oh, let me know if you want a wine down one where we tell everything. <laughs> Let's save it for after the tea. Yes. So, in the end, when the wife, when they decided to get married, mm -hmm. the wife then said, Your friend with a benefit has to go. So wait. No more. Okay. Like, no, I'm confused. So what? Well, so he yeah. had a relationship with someone. Yeah. Like a whole relationship. A whole yeah, a whole yeah. relationship with a person. But then he was seeing someone else who was just a friend with benefits. But did that friends with benefits come before he was in the relationship? Yes. Okay. So he yes. had that friends with for a long time before. Yeah. He like, got in a but relationship. it was never a, re a relationship. No, they just, yeah. They just had an agreement. Yes. Where they would just go and do the deed, mm -hmm. the intimacy, yes. and then that's it. There's, there was no more. It's just that's what they're doing. Yeah. And then what had happened? He'd met somebody who basically said, "I know I want a husband. I know I want to get married. I know where I'm going. I, are you coming with me?" And he's like, "Yeah." Men will say anything. Yeah. There will be where wherever you want to go, wherever you want to do. If they really want to be with you, they will. They will give you that language, and you will shake your head yes, and then you will go. So that's what happened. She wanted a relationship. They had a relationship. Now, because of what he was doing, and what he knew that he was doing, he didn't get married. Because under the eyes of God, it's a sin. It, it, was, it would have been classed as a sin anyway, but yeah. he didn't want to take the vow and the sanctity of marriage and still have this person on the side. Yeah. So he didn't get married. They didn't get married for years. How many years? Many years. <laughs> I think maybe... I don't want to say that maybe we po we probably could have been at possibly at the wedding, but uh -huh. yeah, then you're then you're gonna guess and know who it is. Okay. So I'm not gonna say who it is. Okay, cool. But I don't I do know for a fact that the wife said as we are entering into this marriage yeah. at, at this stage of our lives, after we've had our family etc., the side piece has to go, and then the side piece went. Wow. So it does happen. But it's all about who's mutually exchanging the information and are we all in agreement? So would you say that he had a love for that side piece? No. No, no. No, no, it was just sex. Really? But it was that, just sex. So you think you could have sex for that long and not catch feelings? That's yes, 100%. Been there, done that. Really? Yep. No, but no feelings. Five years. Well, I, maybe... I'm revealing myself now, so I'm not going person. <laughs> For me, I, I know I'm a sucker then. Benefit. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we loved that though. The benefit was very good. The, be the benefit was really, really mm -hmm. good. Okay. But when I knew that I wanted to settle down yeah. and I wanted to grow old and yeah. I wanted to do all these things, run off into the, you know, the sunset, roll in the hay, all yeah. these things that we want to do when we get older, as time is moving on, I realised that I couldn't do it with the person who I had the great benefits with as well as the great friendship. Okay. And what we had agreed to, well, what I had agreed to, was that we didn't have sex with anybody else. <clears throat> That's what I was going to say. So, yeah. so you in had that time, we just had sex with each other. So the, the rules were no other partners. No other partners. And you knew... Sexual what, partners. I mean, okay. Or... or, or, or Seeing partners, no, no dating. No bit? No dating. And you still thought that like, you never connected with him to get deeper in that? No. Wow. Not for me, because I knew what it was from the beginning. And do you think that's what helps? Like, if you set it from the beginning? Yeah, 100%. And how yeah. how often would you see this person, would you say? 
Because do you think it's a frequency matters? Oh well, no, he, I can't say because he, if he's watching this, he's going to definitely <laughs> know that it's him. Okay, <laughs> but no, that's it. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on swiftly. <laughs> We saw each other whenever we needed to have a little sneaky link. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 it. that's the lingo we need to have. There it. But, but no, in, yeah. in, on, in all honesty, though, and on fairness, I will say this. Yeah. We had more friendship. Our friendship bond that's what I was, was, say. Was, was deeper and greater. Okay. Even though the intimacy was very deep and very great also. <laughs> I love that. No, I, I think the friendship was so, what kept us okay. keep going back. Well, if we talk about the female and the male dynamic, because you know how we talk about um, what women don't tell you. Yeah. Do you think as a woman that because you owned it and you're very, like, from the beginning, that mm. helped? Yes. Because you didn't yes. conceal? Because there's any moment in time you said, oh, my female might be feeling a little different or anything No. Like I knew from the beginning this was something that I, I was going to do and I knew from the beginning it was something that I'd never done before yeah and I knew that I did not want a future with this person that it this was it was meant to be just <coughs> just what it is yeah it was meant to be just like a short term short term really short 24 hour thing okay and it turned into long five term. years because oh, wow. the benefits were really good but okay. also the friendship that's what I was going to say because... But we couldn't get to a level of commitment. But this is what I was going to say because this... Okay, but if that be, that one benefit was really good, right? But that to sustain you for so long, there must be a friendship in that oh, yeah. also. Yeah. So yeah. anybody that's doing it long term, there must be a friendship in it also. You can't just think that you cannot talk to that person. No, the friendship... Yeah, yeah. the friendship. The friendship, but it, it didn't move into... the the For me, it didn't move into... Yeah. The, the love thing because it was like I loved him yeah. but I wasn't in love with, with him. him. They're, they're completely different things. Yeah. And uh, you know I think what well, sorry to cut you, but what I think as well, because you're you're very in charge of your feelings. Mm. And I think now now that I'm clocking that, I think when you're in charge of your feelings it's easier to make decisions. Yes. Yeah. Do because you know? you're not basing it on that emotional point within you yeah. is coming from what makes sense in the head yeah but then something that i learned sometimes we have to let the heart allow the head to make a decision okay yeah, yeah. if we allow our hearts yeah to say yes head you're in control yeah then everything that we do actually comes from a place of love anyway yeah and because there's all types of love you don't have to be to love them you I see a hundred percent but that is an act of love, would you say? Or no? Loving somebody without having... No, I mean, having, um, like, being intimate is a form of love. No. You don't think so? Hell no! Do you think it's an act of love? It, what, this... <laughs> this... Yeah? Are my, is my hand and my finger making love right now? No. No. The bodies do this. Bodies, people, people are humans. We do this all the time. Like we are, we are creatures of comfort, creature, creatures of habit. Okay. And I do believe that you can actually have lots of sex without having any love. Okay. And this is the, one of the main reasons why there is an industry, which we won't mention today, yeah. where lots of men and women profit from the act of, of doing that and, and they're making money for it viewing them. And, and viewing them and taking part in it yeah. and there's a whole industry there is where there's a lot of the activity that's love true. making i think in my head and people are getting paid <laughs> <laughs> And there ain't no away. love in the room. <laughs> it's the love of the money. It's true. But when it comes to like on a personal level, yeah. like not an industry thing, but like on a one-to-one -one level, yeah. I do think that after a while, feelings do develop. Like I said, for me, I know that I love this person, but I wasn't in love with him. And I felt that when he saw me, yeah. he was in love with me. But he didn't love me. Yeah. So we're not on the same, do you see? Like No, 100%. Oh, the things he might say, the things that he might do, the way that he behaves. I can see that at that moment he's demonstrating love, but he didn't actually love me.
So we're, 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 our paths were never going to be on the same kind of frequency or the same yeah. level. Because again, what we both said in the beginning was, this is going to be a casual thing and blah, blah, blah. And I'd never done that. Yeah. And, and at that stage, I'd just come out of a long relationship, X, Y, Z. And I knew that I wanted something just like lighthearted, but I also wanted to have, I wanted to have. Yeah. Intimate. I, yeah. No, I and I hadn't been intimate. Yeah. For some time. <laughs> Wait, that's what you say. You're very aware, and I love that. I think that awareness is very rare. In this. Well, it's it's it, it, it's rare that we don't talk about it. That's yeah. what it is. Because I think that we as women... Ta that's the taboo, right? Yeah. We've been, we, we own our bodies, and we know that we have the power. We mm -hmm. know that it's within us. But what it is, often, we don't share the experiences that we have with each yeah. other... Because often, sometimes, we find ourselves navigating paths with men based upon what a man wants, and what he wants to do, yeah, mm -hmm. and what his dream is, mm -hmm. and what his vision is. And then we find ourselves going along, and it's great, the intimacy is great, the friendship is great, yeah. and then when we get to like a little bump, or a blip, we then might find ourselves having to come to a sister, or a niece, and then yeah. say, oh, you know. Uh -huh. And then the minute you start to share, you'll find another woman will say, well, actually, I know what you're... Babe, I know what you're going through. Yeah, because talking about, Been like, there. having those needs, you know, let's talk about those benefits, and having those needs, that's very taboo, like, to be like, oh, yeah, I need that, just... I just need that need. Maybe not the man, not the man. Like, right now, I haven't got the mental capacity to have a man, but that need, that comfort, you know, some women are like, ooh, okay, that's a bit... Well, there is another industry out there. <laughs> Toys and such. Oh yes, okay, oh yeah. This is not that kind of that's channel, cool. so we got to stick a pin in that we when we have the wine day. Yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Moving along. But, but. Rest, okay, so we're on the line of dating. So as you know, now we have social media. Sorry, I need to keep you on track, I know. Bad influence. No, but. that's not bad influence. <laughs> no, not at all, at all. So social media, so now the way we date is different. So before... Mm -hmm. Like, normally, like, not well, let's not say normally, because that's not the norm, new norm now, but, like, you'd probably meet someone in person, and then they would see you, and then they would take you out, and mm -hmm. that type of vibe. But now, most of the people that I've seen, I met online first. Okay. So, like... Did you meet them on a dating app, or was it... Did no, they so DM you? Oh, okay, should I tell them? Uh, Instagram. I met... Well. Yeah, in Instagram. She's, she's like, well... But, yeah, so Instagram... So now people are meeting people on Instagram, Twitter. So what? When is he meeting on Instagram? So they send, are they sending you like an so email or a message? Yeah, DM. So like for instance, you, you okay. might see a cute guy. He follows you. You follow him back. You, you know what you do. You like a couple of the pictures. So he's the one that messages you. you know, that's Anyway. Every day is a school day. I'm <laughs> learning. I'm listening to you and I'm learning. Because this is not my experience. But yeah, Go so on. then he will message you like, hey, how are you doing? <laughs> What I normally do, if we are mutual friends, I that's when I'm like, okay, he's a real person. Because mm -hmm. some some people be out here like whole catfish, not the actual person. So you've got to be careful out here. You have to be careful out okay. here. Okay. You have to. So with me, I wouldn't. I don't think I'd ever go out on a date with a guy if I, I didn't. If I didn't know my any of my friends didn't know him type of vibe. Okay. okay. Because that way I can at least verify him. To know that it's a true person type of vibe. Can you get like a FaceTime? And a FaceTime. On, on, oh yeah. On video call. And Instagram, you can video call that person. Even though, so you don't even have to leave the app now. Like before, okay. they had to get your number and stuff. But now you don't have to leave the app. You can video call that person. You can call that person. And they can't put any filters on that video. It's just the whole I mean, face. Oh my god, Instagram! You can actually put a filter on. Jesus Lord. <laughs> Which is so it's so crazy. So now that we're in that this day and age, we're like. <sighs> You can literally be dating someone in Tanzania if you wanted to. Yeah, which is uh, which I think is really cool because it brings people together. Like I don't, I wouldn't mind flying out for the, my dream man if he lives in Tanzania. But <sighs> but let's talk about okay. So what? How would you say the challenges of that? The pros and the cons of that of dating online. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with it if you make it happen offline. Mm, okay. Because if you met somebody online mm -hmm. uh, let's let's be honest i mean me growing up we didn't have this uh internet sensation yeah. so you had to be out there meeting people in real life that's what i say so it's gone you gone from bump, bumping into them in the supermarket oh i'm so sorry or just stumbling over <laughs> would you would you 
gonna like if you saw cute girl, would you ever be like try done it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not. Listen, I have to put the watch. Take the watch off. Put the watch in my pocket, and I'm like, excuse me, got time. <laughs> done it. Yeah, honest to goodness. Nice car in front of me. Yeah. You can see the driver in the window. Gently bump him. He has to stop. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna just take your number, don't worry, we'll get it all fixed, you know, da, da, da. these are the things that you have to be creative, like, we had to be creative. Yeah. You know, you go into shopping, shopping the supermarket, you look in what, you look in the basket, you think, okay, he's getting a meal for one, he's single. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. So you did your essay. Then, so then you, you ask him like, oh, where did you get that from? That, yeah. that looks good. Yeah. And then you struck up a conversation. So you're doing your FBI work, see? Yeah. So yeah, so FBI work, with as women we've always done we're just doing it online because but, but online it's very very different because yeah. you're not you're you're only seeing the best version of whatever that person yeah is and oftentimes from my experience because obviously my experience is going to be different from yours yeah because i don't have uh instagram people dming me and uh, messaging me on do you Facebook. Not have me. Do you? No, no, no. I have. Yes, this, you do. Uh, on I, Facebook, I def definitely people are doing. Yeah, they do. But I got like one hundred and twenty messages. Yeah. I don't have the messenger app, so I, I, how am I supposed to be reading all? So those exactly, things? there's people that DM you. It's yeah, just, I just don't. Them. I don't. Yeah, I don't <laughs> read them. I live offline. If you want to get to know me, find my number, call me. Okay. That's me. Yeah. But I do have the Facebook. Uh, this. Dating apps. Okay. I have been on dating apps where I just swipe, 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 okay, swipe. Cool. And what I have found is, I'm not sure if it's the same with Instagram. Yeah. People put out the best versions of themselves in yeah. a picture. Posing with friends, they try to make themselves look interested, and they're yeah. always going to show their best side forward. What I always query is, how old are the pictures? Yeah. Because like at my age, yeah. if I'm seeing a picture of this fit buff, and he's looking like this, but you're 45... You don't look like that now at 45. <laughs> yeah. But then you want me to fall in love with the one click, two click of the picture. Yeah. And then when I get to FaceTime you, I'm like, who the hell is that? Your dad? Where is he? So my experience yeah. is going to be very, very different. But I don't see anything wrong yeah. in meeting somebody online mm. as long as you want to make it manifest offline. Because yeah. that's where it really happens. You know, we can say anything online and we can create as many connections and make contacts with people and you know i've met some really great female women who i've met in person offline but i met them online first yeah so it's a good tool for building but i really do believe that when it comes to relationships or seeing people in whatever capacity you have to be consistent you have to be showing up you have to be relevant in the time now and you have to be present in the life in real no, offline 100%. and we can't do that if we're going to have an online relationship yeah just with the person in tanzania what tanzania has to come here or we yeah. have to go over there because you hear you hear a lot make it work you hear a lot of times like people say i fell in love with this guy i've never met before you know all this that you, you see these tv programs all the time and they 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 finally meet and then they're like oh wow do you know what I mean they haven't talked they've probably been talking for two years you know or you see these catfish programs you have talking for two years they say they've fallen in love they've done all this and it's like but you haven't physically saw that person. Whereas it's actually great, crazy. That's what social media has done. It's made us been able to be so close to a person without physically being with that person. That's why I disagree. What you don't? You I, I yeah. I know <laughs> people might want to come for me. Come for me. I don't mind. <laughs> like, okay. I really, don't come for. I come for you. Yes. <laughs> don't come for me unless I call for you. Yeah. Oh, very good. There you go. <laughs> yeah. But I just don't think. Yeah. That if. If, if you want to have a long-term relationship yeah. and a long-distance relationship, that's fine. Yeah. But if you want something to transpire into reality, yeah. you have to put the work in. And that means creating moments, creating experiences, yeah. sharing time in each other's companies, mm -hmm. eye contact, 100%. body contact. 100%. It's the sharing, the breaking bread, even like what we're doing now. These are ancient traditions. We take bread, we break bread, we share, yeah. we eat food, we, we, com we commune when we come together yeah. and we do these things. Mm -hmm. You can't do that with the man on the internet or the woman on the internet having a like, what are we going to do? Set up a Zoom and have you eat your dinner then? I eat. How long can that they go do, on for? They do that though. People, A lot of people do that. They do like um, virtual dates. But I, I, I do see... I, <laughs> she's like... Mm -mm 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 -mm. But no, I... 
And in the meantime, yeah. such, a, such a drop shoot. Yeah. That's great. Mm -hmm. But what are they doing in the meantime? So when they click off. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Come on, Sarah, Sally, Susan, let's go. Oh, so oh, to the so bedroom. You, you, oh, so you don't think people could be loyal in that long time? all space? those years. How, how long are we talking? Six months, a year? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Women? Yes. Yes. Okay, but men? I. Ooh, okay. So, okay, so. Touch men, up. if you're out there, DM her, let her know that you're, you've been <laughs> six months to a year without having any release. <laughs> Let her know. And then I'll come back and say, yes, men too. But right now, <laughs> it's just women. No. <laughs> Keeping but, it 100. But like you were saying, people put their best um, foot forward when it comes to social media. So they're putting their best pictures, mm -hmm. their best resume, their best, you know, version, version of themselves. So getting getting to know and actually getting to love another, uh, 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 another part of that person. It's so much harder, especially if you prolong the act of meeting mm -hmm, that person, mm -hmm. because you're only going to see the good things. And it's not that we're not, we're all not perfect, you know what I'm trying to say? So I think sometimes long distance relationship, it's like, well, not long distance, we'll say a social media relationship if when you're prolonging the actual dating phase. Meeting. Meeting phase. Yeah. I'm going to share with you what I've recently gone through. Okay. But before I, before I share that, yeah. I will say this. There is nothing wrong with having an internet relationship with yeah. somebody, mm -hmm. online dating, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. But the the reason why I say I disagree mm -hmm. with the falling in love bit with somebody that you've never met is because this is the reality. Yeah. Whether I'm FaceTiming you, or whether I'm calling you, or whether I'm texting you, all I'm doing is talking. Mm. And my talk and my speech might empower you it might motivate you it yeah. might get you up every day it might make you do great things yeah but it's still my talk and my speech what you choose to do with my language and my energy that i'm sharing over the phone that's entirely up to you mm. these are not examples of of love how we create the experiences of love this is conversation it's chit chat it's talk it's typing it's administration that's how i see it so when we're saying we're falling in love, I think we could fall in love with the idea of the person. We could fall in love with the character of the person or what they, who they tell us they are. Because there's no evidence in anything that any of this person is saying to you. Even if they show you like, oh, they're living in a big house, they've got the big lifestyle or whatever. Yeah. You're only seeing that from the video, from the window. Yeah. You're only seeing it from the screen of That's your TV the, yeah. or from your, from your laptop or from your FaceTime call. You're not actually experiencing these things that we do offline. So for me, my definition of, I think you, you can be in love with the idea of being in love with somebody, but this, oh, I fell in love with him online and I've never met him yet and I'm in love, etc. It's blah. the idea of him, it's not him. Okay. It's the, the reality, it is lovely when we hear of the, 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 the happy end up ever after, I mean, the happy ending, but mm -hmm. the reality of it is this, somebody needs to be consistently in your life yeah. and actively showing up. And if they're not able to do that, why, why, why would they be online for so long, having these long, unless the person's in jail, <laughs> or there's some, do you understand? Yeah. So, I don't know, it's hard for me personally, from my experiences of going through these dating apps, if I'm talking to you and it's been a week and you don't have the time to meet and we can't make it function, hashtag next. <laughs> I move on. But what I will say is this, yeah. and I, I'm very honest, and I say that I can't have multiple conversations with multiple men online. It just confuses me. I don't know, you Bob, Stephen, Harry, yeah. John, how old are you? Where do you live again? Oh, yeah. you don't have two kids, you've got one cat, one dog. You forget all these things. That's true. But yeah. if, you, if I'm talking to you and I've met you and I see your pictures... Yeah. Would you... Sorry to cut Would you expect that from the, from, from the person you're talking to as well? Yes. Okay. Yeah. It, it goes both ways. So you, it, so you would say that and expect him to react, do the same thing for you? Yeah. In terms of like, if he's seen you, yeah. you'd want him... He, even if it's not serious, you, yeah. you'd want him to only talk to you? Yes. Okay. And I say that from the very beginning. I'm like, who else are you talking to? And okay. you can say, well, I've got three other people talking to you. I said, well, okay, look, let's, let me meet you tomorrow then. 
Like, as soon as I meet you, yeah. I have to meet you. Mm. Once I've met you, you have to shut down those conversations. Okay. Oh, okay. So 100%. From the offset, you're very much like, no, you're just talking to me. Yeah, you're, because if I'm just talking to you, it doesn't mean I've deleted everybody. I just put them on pause. Oh, put them on pause. Put them on ice. Put them on pause. <laughs> no reply. No reply. But you don't let them know that you're talking to one man. Okay. <laughs> but you let that one man know there's five more in the, in the background. In, yeah. you gotta keep it. you got to keep it real. Okay, cool. Because that's the whole point of a dating app. You've got to keep your options open. 100%. And at the same time, you can't delete everybody because one guy says, give me... Give me your number. If you give your number to every single person you're talking to, ah, like for me, I do have a few people yeah. on, that have liked me and say, swipe yes, 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 yes. Of yes. course you do. So at times, yeah. there may be a collection. Yeah. I'm not an administrator or a typist <laughs> or sitting down typing 110 words per minute to yeah, each person. 100%. So, and I don't have time to copy and paste each thing that I'm saying because I want to be unique and individual that's nice person. of you auntie because a lot of men are not doing the same no we're not copying and pasting this but what i have done is i will shut down if i'm having uh, one person says like oh look, i really like you blah blah, blah. let's not talk and we, in the app it's quite safe you can face in, in the facetime oh sorry i'm not talking about advertising facetime but you can speak clearly yeah. and you can see their video calls so it's all safe yeah. but i won't have more than one conversation and then he says, let's go on a date. I say, let's have a meeting first. Okay. Because if I meet you and there's no chemistry, it's no point us going on a date. Mm -mm. I don't want to kick off my heels and start running. Like, I just want to be safe. I know that there's, there's chemistry there. If there's no chemistry, then I'm off. But I just feel that, why prolong it? Mm. If, if someone's going to be in your life, let that start now. And if they don't have the time... Let me see that now mm. so that I can move on to the next because the good thing be, mm -hmm. we are made in our billions. Billions of we, billions of you, billions yeah. of me, billions of him, billions of she, billions of her. Hashtag next. Yeah, hashtag next. If, you, if, it's, if, it's, yeah, if it's draining, if it's not for you, there's not... It's like a ponytail. You don't have to force it. <laughs> let it go, girl. Let it go. You know when that ponytail pulling you tight back like so... Let yeah. it go! Melise! Melise! Sorry, come on. <laughs> no, that's true. I, I love that, I love that. But especially as women, like you said, we, we kind of feel the whole of... I think, and it also gives us more freedom. Mm. Gives us so much more freedom to be able to say, okay, cool, like, it didn't work out next, you know? Not like, oh my God, I'm going to find my next man, you know? This pool is small. You can live in, like, a really small town and be able to find the man of mm. your dreams, mm. which I think is so nice. And it gives gives us the power to feel mm. like, okay, we don't have to stay in a relationship or stay that person or like you said, the potential of a guy and feel like, oh, maybe one day he'll be like this or maybe one day he'll act a certain way. But actually say, okay, he's not right for me. There's plenty more fish in the sea. Yeah, hashtag next. Like, it's okay. Right. And it's okay to be alone in between the times. Okay, cool. Yeah, that, that's, that's true actually. Men don't define us. They don't, yeah. they don't you know, um, a lot of women do. And this is a thing that a lot of women don't often talk about. Yeah. Sometimes we see women in relationships and they feel like they need to be with somebody because mm. that man makes them feel special, loved. And without that man, they aren't all these wonderful, great things. And we as women have to realise that we are great. We are wonderful. Yeah. We, we actually give out the love that this world has. And we are the backbone of humanity. Obviously, we can't do it without a man. But oftentimes, we don't speak to each other enough to say, my sister, my niece, my loved one. Like, yeah. you know, if, if, if he leaves you or if you break up, you will be okay. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll find people that will try and like say, "Stay. The money's good. The house is good. Stay. Don't do whatever the kids." Da, 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 da. So I was gonna say. No, no. I think what I was gonna say is that is that you know when you get in a relationship, you isolate everyone out around you. I think we have to learn sometimes. Sometimes, not mm. no, not some, not all the time. Hand plan, not all the time. In the early days, no one else exists but that man. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> But I think everyone else is dead. <laughs> yeah, you're like, that's my man. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, my best friend. Yeah. <laughs> but I think you have to understand that every relationship is a lot of relationships are important. It's not just you and your husband or you and your man's relationship mm -hmm, is important mm -hmm. because that's that's where you can, where you can when you get isolated. That's when when things do go wrong in your relationship. You feel like there's no way out. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When you when you haven't got 
where you haven't got friends or you haven't got someone that you can confide in or mm. talk to about some things because I know people will say oh don't talk about relationships and all this type of stuff there's to a certain extent I agree because mm. you know you don't want to paint a bad picture to your friends and that's the only light they're seeing but I do think there is a healthy and a nice way to have a relationship to be talked about with your friends you I know think it's important it's very important because you maintain your your relationships with your friends yeah well. and I think it's important that a man maintains his relationship 100%. with his friend and that we as women support men to still go and do the things that they did with their yeah. you know guy friends as they yeah. did before maybe not so much if they were doing like football 10 times a week yeah but the, the Sundays are good the Sundays are but then you've got to say look you still have to have your boys night you still boys have to night. Have your, your, do what you do because I'm still going to have my girls night yes don't lose yourself yeah don't and lose. not become wrapped up in I just when women do that it can become quite unhealthy and it can become quite toxic very much so because as females I think there's so much strength as us mm -hmm. together as mm -hmm. women mm -hmm. and when you have that union with with your friends I think when you bring that into you with your husband it can be so much stronger mm. you have so much things to lean on to you know it's a it's a it's a, it's a slippery slope it, yeah it's a, it is a slippery slope yeah but i i think you know there's quite a lot of relationships and i'm sure that we both in our generation yeah. gap that we have mm -hmm. we both have people that we know where we say there's a guy who says no nah, <laughs> i'm married to her but i've got that the sister and there's four more aunties involved and it's all of them in yeah. the relationship and yeah. then if anything goes wrong you've got all the women coming just to, yeah it, that can happen where it can be overload sometimes it's, 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 you got it's to have balance the healthy balance like i said it's a healthy balance like i said i always we even want to talk about what's about friends it's having that whole you know who you call your friends is someone that you know should have your best interests yes please should have your best interests at heart so and you know with me i don't have a lot of friends do you get what i'm trying to say because i feel like to have good friends it takes a lot to maintain it that's true. It takes a lot to maintain a good friendship. So if I have 20 friends, not, not saying that I can't have 20 friends. I mean, I would call my friend, but in terms of a deep, deep relationship, mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. hard, you know. And you, it can be done. A lot of people are able to multitask and do all that type of stuff. But I, will, I do feel like it's it would have, you should have a smaller amount of people that you call your true, true friends that mm -hmm. will know you in different layers, mm -hmm. you know, because it's hard like with our lives to be talking and you know for them to get to know you and understand you and you know and it's fine but those true friends i think should have some aspect of your life that they would want to have give you advice mm -hmm. and talk to you and help you in certain avenues you know so in regards to you being the guy i do think you can confide in them and they would have your best mm -hmm. interests at heart so vice versa um but i don't think it's very much like shut them out because you know that's but that's what does unfortunately yeah. that's that is what happens a lot of the time but um i'm going to disagree with you slightly on okay. what i said only because yeah my experience is different